It's been a long time since I've done an Audacity video, but I'm doing this particularly for those who have bought royalty-free music from my store. Within those uh, royalty-free music packs, there are loops, which are essentially sections of music that are designed to be able to be repeated over and over without you noticing the edit in between pieces of audio. But a lot of you don't know how to use it. There is a quick start guide as well. But whether you're coming from buying from me or whether you're just sitting there with some loops and thinking, well, I want a longer piece of music, what do I do? This is a video that will show you how to do this within Audacity. I'm not going to show you how to download Audacity because there are plenty of videos that show you how to do that. It's pretty simple anyway as a piece of software to download. So I shall move straight on to looping your audio track. First of all, you need to open Audacity and then go to open and find the audio file that you want to open. Now, you can also drag and drop the audio file, but I've gone into the open option. I'm going to find the file I want and I'm going to go for this uh, acoustic rock track and I'm going to go for the 30 second loop. Now these are OG files. OG files or WAV files are very good formats for looping and Audacity will recognise an OG file, so don't worry about that. Now next thing we want to do is we're going to repeat it and so we're going to click on Effect on the menu panel and then select Repeat. In this case, I don't want lots of uh, repeats. I want a piece of music that is approximately one minute and at the moment this is 30 seconds so I'm going to enter the number of times I'd like the audio track to repeat and it will actually show you the new length of that track which as you see is a minute although some of the tracks are labeled as 15 seconds or 30 seconds they may actually vary in length due to the tempo it's a bit of a complicated topic if you're not familiar with it, but basically the beats per minute impact the number of bars within a given time frame. But just look at new selection length and adjust the number of repetitions until you have about the desired length of music that you want. In this case, the 30 second loop is 30 seconds long. It just happens to be that way because of the beats per minute. It comes out at one minute then if we loop it just that one time. And then you can check out the looped track. And if you're happy with it, you just click export audio. So just have a listen. Make sure where you see the join that it actually loops without sounding strange. And then click export audio and save to the required file. And enter any file name that you want. Now, in this window, you can also choose to save as type. And it could be you save it again as another OG file because you're going to keep working with it or a WAV file, which I usually prefer if I'm going to uh, if I'm going to need a master copy or I'm going to keep working from a copy because that's a very high quality format. Or if not, then save it as an MP3 file. This uh, an MP3 file is a compressed audio file. It's much smaller than WAV normally. You'll probably want it as an MP3 file later down the line if you know you'll you keep it a, keep a master copy. But the MP3 file is just a, a smaller file to work with. But to save as an MP3 file, you'll need the lame encoder installed on your computer. If you haven't got it, it will show you a little box that will tell you you need to install it and it'll actually show you where to click it'll give you a little download link to click in order to go and download it and it's just the same as downloading any software and you download it and then when you go to try and save again as mp3 it will save fine and your audacity software will find it for you on your computer so uh, you don't have to worry too much about that don't don't panic if you see that it says you can't save as an mp3 file without this just go and download it and all will be fine so that's simple that's exactly how you loop it you can loop it once you can loop it five times depends on the uh, length of your original file and also the length you want it to be in the end and if you're thinking, oh, but it ends very suddenly, I don't like the way that loop just suddenly cuts off, no problem. I'll show you how to use one of the ending clips that we provide as well, or that you'll likely get if you buy 
royalty-free music with loops. So we'll uh, do another video and I'll show you how to use those ending clips. <laughs> 